the 24th minute, confusion by Seychelles costed them when a cross from Mari Kaipu bounced off Seychelles players to find the net. Oh, it's a good run. Played across. And what a great interception that time. But Kaipu would find the net in the 30th minute and later captain Yvonne Gabong in the 44th minute and take the lead for PNG. Three goals to nil into half time. Gabong should finish this off. Yes, she does. Nice and easy. And has put Papua New Guinea 3-0 up. Kaipu opened the second half with a double in the 52nd minute, running around three defenders to post a goal outside of the box. Well, this is a good opportunity. Now takes a goal, takes a strike, and it is a goal. It's the fourth goal for Papua New Guinea. And, uh, well, out of nothing, really, that lady, Murray Kaipu. Another defection by Seychelles outside of the box So Megan Gunemba roll the ball past the gloves of the Seychelles goalkeeper, PNG leading five goals to nil. In the 69th minute, 17-year-old Sagude Zale sent a long shot from the right wing to find PNG's sixth goal of the match. Well, is this the six? Yes, it is. Seychelles have been hit for six after 69 minutes. And, uh, well, big celebrations all round on this one. A minute after substitute, Ramona Padio found PNG's seventh goal. 80 minutes in, PNG was awarded a penalty and Padio rolled another shot to get her double and PNG's eighth goal. Another set of fresh legs was sent in minutes to full time. Sonia Mbahe wrapping up the match in the 85th minute with PNG's ninth goal. Mbahe is going for the ninth and she gets it. Nine goals for Papua New Guinea. The Lakatois will face host Singapore on Monday, the 11th of April, in their final match of the Tri-Nation Series. Kola Sengi, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby.